Hey there, gang. On my radar meteorologist, Matthew Capucci, with a quick afternoon update on Helene, because right now you can see it on satellite. It's a tropical storm. It has that swirl. But look, you can see the swirl on satellite. That's a low-level center, but it's exposed. It's naked, and it's kind of meandering in weird ways, wobbling back and forth a little bit. Here's the latest game from the past couple hours. Now, the fact that you can see it tells us there are no thunderstorms over it, which is pretty unusual for a tropical storm. You need convection, updraft plumes, over the center of circulation and it's also going southwest when it wasn't supposed to. That leads to two bigger wild cards as the forecast evolves forward. Number one, which way does that center of circulation, i.e. the swirl, go? And is it southwest movement, which is unexpected by the way, part of a larger trend, or is it just like a little wobble that'll wobble back? We don't really know right now. If it is part of a larger trend, there's a better chance the center of circulation would pass over the Yucatan Peninsula. That means that center would no longer be over the warm waters of the Northwest Caribbean and cut back on strengthening just a little bit, and we'd lose like 6 to 12 hours worth of intensification, meaning a slightly weaker storm at landfall, which is exactly what we want. But conversely, if this little wobble just wobbles back, it might stay over the Yucatan Channel, meaning the ocean waters between Cancun and Western Cuba, and it would have time to intensify over those warm waters. And number two, will we get thunderstorms to sprout over that swirl? You need to stretch that spin vertically in order to get a hurricane, which is why you need thunderstorms to basically pull that spin, that vorticity upwards. Additionally, you also need thunderstorms to release latent heat to lift the air upwards, and that lifting literally removes air, cuts back on the mass, the weight of the air, drops the air pressure, and causes that vacuum effect that pulls in the strong winds. So to get a strengthening storm, you need thunderstorms over that center to evacuate air. The honest answer is we probably won't know for the next few hours. I'd say like 9, 10 o'clock tonight, we'll have a better idea how this situation will evolve. But these are like the two biggest uncertainties, at least in my mind right now as a forecaster. We'll have updates tomorrow morning in the MyRadar app. I'll be awake all night long posting for the app. And as always, we're watching this. It's a tricky forecast, but plan for the worst and hope for the best. Follow MyRadar on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download MyRadar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.